And we're on close up of my nose to start. All right, guys. So my neighbor might be outside and be like, what is she doing in there? Just wait until I start working out outside. It'll be fun. Okay, this is gonna be for the gym. Hello, fire breathers. 2019 So you've got a lot of work to do today. As always, a reminder, this is designed to give you a comprehensive strength and conditioning program that if you have a lot of time, if you're looking for high volume, you do everything. If you don't have a lot of time, you're looking for a more, we'll call it traditional sort of CrossFit style conditioning, cross training. Um, you do a strength and a Metcon in addition to your warm up and your cool down. And again, you get to, you know, pick, choose, mix and match just depending on your time, your goals and whatnot. And um, so that's just that reminder. And you're starting with, so I guess maybe sort of non-traditionally, depending how you define traditional CrossFit, your strength that you're starting with today, um, I called this 2018-12-23, and you've got three sets, not for time, for quality. Your score is your heaviest successfully completed 10 rep sumo deadlift. Okay, so high volume today. You are supersetting that with strict toes to bar and I'm gonna call them strict push-ups, okay? So for your sumo deadlifts, wide stance, toes sort of turned out, right? About 11 and two, your hands are going to be straight down, which puts them inside your legs, right? From there, you want to think of it like a traditional deadlift where you're sending your hips back until that bar is clear of your knees and then bending down to the ground to initiate that movement, right? Because it is a deadlift. You're starting from the bottom, heels through the floor, squeezing, pressing that floor away from you, feet through the ground. Then once you're clear of your knees, squeeze your glutes, come to standing. We keep stress and tension off our low back by deadlifting, by using our legs and making our legs work and not pulling with our back to stand up all the way. There's no need to do this. Again, that just hurts our back. That's not what we're going for. So you wanna stand up and make sure you're standing up tall. We want our shoulders over our hips, but we don't need to hyperextend. Squeeze your glutes, look across the room. If you keep that chest tall, Everything will fall while it needs to fall, okay? So, have fun with that. Your strict toes to bar. Just do your best not to kip. So when you're hanging from your rig, after you bring your toes up, deaden your swing, initiate your pull with a big, deep, lower ab pull. You can lean back if you need to. Try to not as much as you can, but um, your hamstring flexibility is kind of where that comes in. And then your push-ups, keep them good reps. If you want to make them weighted, you absolutely can do that. Stick a plate on your back or use bands. Um, so there's that. Your Metcon. Um, again, doesn't have a fancy name. It's 2018-12-12. This is one time through for time. You can think of it like an up and back and it's gonna be a fun one. So you've got your wall balls, standard weight and height, just high volume of them. So when you're doing this, remember you are starting with that ball on the ground. You have to come to full extension before you squat down and toss that ball to your target line. Make sure your hips are getting below your knees each time that you squat and I talked about competitor or how to more efficiently and quickly take some um, time off of big sets of wall balls. So you can go back a couple videos and watch for that. Since you are working with a high volume of wall balls to start and to finish, employ some mental strategies here. So you don't want to lose count, but a good way to do this is to count up halfway 
and then count down your last halfway. Um, just, it kind of gives you a, you know, counting down is mentally easier sometimes because, you know, when you're thinking, oh, I've got so much more to do. If you're looking at, well, I only have 20 left. That's easier to say than, you know, oh no, I've got 40 more to do. So that's my personal preference and my coaching tip to you today to take those big chunks out of the wall balls. Um, try to do big sets, but don't burn yourself out. You have a lot of them. So consistency is key over this. Nice and steady, breathe. When you take your break, don't go walking all the way across the gym. Step back, breathe, shake it off, get right back on it. Um, then you've got dumbbell box step overs. It is with two. Both feet have to travel over the top of the box and down, but you do not need to stand up all the way on top of the box. So just watch your footing, get yourself up and over for the number of reps that you need. Then you've got a distance front rack walking lunges. So you're gonna get those kettlebells or kettlebells, dumbbells up into your front rack position. You can rest them if you want. You just gotta keep your hands up on them, however's most comfortable, depending on what kind of dumbbells you have. And then we're looking for back knee touches the ground, come to full extension in between. You don't need to stop unless you have to. I don't know why you would do this because it would just burn more, but we're not looking for this. No duck walking. Make sure you come up to standing. With lunges, remember, if you have two legs, use both legs. So what that means is when you're here, drive off that back toe to help push you forward as you pull with that front leg. Make both legs work. Um, travel the total distance, and then you're going back down. You're back on the step overs, and you're finishing with the wall balls. So. Just get your mind right for this. It's going to be a grind. Grind yourself through it, okay? Then we are ending on back thighs and tries. Three sets again, and you are starting with 21s. So if you've never done these, these are so much fun, a traditional um, bodybuilding exercise. You can do it with a barbell if you wanna do it with dumbbells. Doesn't really matter. For 21s, uh oh, I forget which ones you start with now. You do seven reps in the bottom half, seven reps in your top half, and then seven full reps of bicep curls. So you do it unbroken, and that entire thing is like your first set. All right, so get a good bicep pump. Then you've got 15 tricep press downs. So if you are in a traditional gym or you have a cable machine, you can do your press downs using ropes and a cables. If you don't and you need to kind of rig up your own, you can do them with a PVC and bands if you've got something to attach it to. If none of those are an option, you can absolutely do skull crushers or um, standing dumbbell tricep presses. Ideally, you're doing the press downs, but work with what you got. Get those triceps lit. And then nine weighted pull-ups. So again, just depending on your sit up, your setup and your situation, if you've got a belt that you can attach um, plates or kettlebells to, use that. Um, and if you don't have access to anything like that, but you've got cables, you can do flat pull-downs. So, or again, with your PVC and pull down. However, you've got to get it done. So that's that. You do have a skill today as well, and that's ring muscle ups. So um, if you don't know what ring muscle up drill is best for you, let me know. I've got, there's lots of videos and resources available out there for you. There's books, there's YouTube videos. Um, I'll go ahead and plug my absolute favorite um, ring muscle up drills comes from Coach Keith, who's at Kids First in Cincinnati. Um, so he's got a website. I want to say it's CoachKeithPettit.com. But if you Google him, his stuff will come up. 
Um, you can also look up Coach Carl Paoli on YouTube. He used to do gymnastics wad way back in the day, and a lot of his original videos are still up on YouTube, and those are fantastic for ring muscle ups. Um, he's also got a book, Freestyle Connection, that's got great drills. Um, if you have access to that book um, at your local gym or library, and um, so Coach Carl's current endeavor is called the Freestyle Connection. You can look him up on Instagram as well. So, you got a lot of stuff to do today. Gym, have fun, attack with fire as always. Get your mind right, get fit, have fun. I already said that. Jacard.